Alrighty, so in the last video, we looked at a, a patient whose vein was, was wonderful, right? The perfect vein. Now in this case, we're gonna look at an arm in which the veins are a little bit more difficult to locate. So first of all, we're gonna have her, we're gonna get her arm preference. She chose this arm, right? I already checked both arms. Both arms weren't so great, but this one had a little something, right? So we're gonna have our patient. Again, the tourniquet goes three to four inches above the elbow. That's about two to three fingers, depending on how big your arm, your fingers are. All right, so we're gonna tie that tourniquet there. Now you wanna make sure your tourniquet is tight. You don't wanna be so tight that it is hurting your patient, but you wanna be tight enough to get those veins prominent. So a couple different things you can do when you have a difficult person. First of all, you wanna get them to make a fist. We don't want them to pump. Just make a fist there, right? Now, I'm going to feel here for her veins. Now, I'm going to palpate. One thing that you can do that I always do to um, find a difficult vein, you can kind of bend her arm a little bit like this. When you bend her arm here, you can kind of feel the vein a little bit better there. You want to feel it with me? Feel it right there? You feel it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's right there. So when you bend the arm, that tends to help as well, okay? So I feel her vein, but the problem is that I can't see it. So I'm gonna tell you guys something that always works for me. What I do is I feel the vein and I try to find some kind of mark or blemish. And she also has one here now, actually her cephalic vein is right here too. So I actually like this one better. What I do, go ahead, feel it. Mm. Yep. So what I do, I always, um, I feel for the vein and I look for a mark or a blemish on my patient's arm so I know where I'm going. So in her case, and you wanna come a little closer. In her case, I feel her vein right here and I see just a little blemish, little mark right there. So I know that I'm gonna go right below that mark, okay? Remember X marks the spot? That's how I look at it, I see, okay? It's right below that little speck there. So when I clean it, I know I'm going right below that speck, okay? So longer than a minute had passed, so I took the tourniquet off and I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply it so I can show you guys another method you could use. And this method I actually got from the YouTube channel Phlebotomy Solutions, so shout out to them. So I'm gonna have her again, make a fist. Now I feel her vein here, right there in the middle. So this method, you're gonna use the cap to your needle so remember we had to move this cap to assemble our needle we're going to use this cap right here and i feel her vein right there i'm going to go right here so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this cap and i'm going to press it into her arm that doesn't hurt does it no i'm going to press it into her arm just for a few seconds right and then that's going to create a little hole zoom in on that that's going to create a little mark and then I'll know exactly where I'm going. So I hope that this video was helpful. If I think of any other tips, I will come back and let you guys know. But for right now, that's it. Thank you guys again for visiting my channel. Be blessed.